Hello. So we're cleaning. Clean, clean, clean. Remember, cars should be already clean once it's in the booth. Actually, before it's in the booth, cars should already be clean. So you gotta make sure that the car is clean. And then you're just final washing. I've washed this panel like three times already. Okay? So we're we are uh, good to go. I'm gonna show you a little something here. Making sure we're getting rid of all the static. Let's also make sure that we're recording. Yeah, we are. Get rid of all the static. You can get these on the website as well, motivatedpainters.com. Got a brand new bumper or bumper piece, whatever you want to call it. We got sealer. 30, 30 PSI is what I spray the sealer at. We have a slim combat 1.4, 1.3. Whatever you got, it works. Amazing. This is one of the best guns for the buck. Good coverage. We're gonna put one nice and even. Nice, 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 nice. Couldn't get five minutes without saying nice. Look at that. Nice and smooth. Now, I want that to be the same as here. So, I'm going to aim the gun this way. I'm not gonna spray this way. I'm gonna spray this way. And I'm going to lightly pull the trigger. And just play around with it a little bit. Play around with it a little bit. Just to get enough under. And now we got the same color there, we got the same color there, and also it's gonna help us to see how well it covers. Now, since I put sealer on there, this is PPG sealer, ECR 65, I think. I got 1K uh, spot blender. I'm just gonna lightly, lightly work it in. Don't put too much blender, because if you put too much blender, you're gonna make problems. And then your base coat will react to the blender. So. We're gonna go make the color in a few minutes, five minutes, let's say this will be ready to spray. Let's go. So as we can see, it's good to go. Oh, I forgot something. I've been utilizing the wet bed. I know you've probably seen it in other of my videos, but lately I've been using it on everything that has a blend. And the reason why is because I've noticed that it just makes the whole painting process a lot easier. So I have this at 27 PSI. This is a 1.2. And basically what I do is I put on a light coat like this. And then I go back over it. A little bit heavier. And what I want is one, uh, like a very slim, slim, but even coat, right? And then I take my color, and this is activated base with T4, 94, 93, and 92, okay? And then what I do, what I've been doing this, works really good. I actually put 15, 15, 15 PSI. This is a 360 Evo with a 1.3, and uh, I just got this welcome light which uh, works really cool. You can dim it. You can dim it down, dim it up. But anyways, this light is really helpful so far. I'm still just trying it out. I'm not gonna tell you that I recommend it yet. But, I mean, if, it's, if we need more coverage, this awesome light will tell us. And you know in these spots, in these crevices and stuff, it's hard to tell you got coverage so now what I've noticed when I'm spraying a 15 psi is that you're putting it on uh, thicker you're putting on uh, 
I don't know if thicker is the way to say it, but it's 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 bigger droplets, so it just kind of goes on the panel and stays there, right? So look, that's that's pretty much covered. You can see a little bit here still, but it's still wet. So that's awesome. Second coat, I'll show you what I do. But basically, this first coat, I put it on nice and heavy uh, because this base coat is activated. Okay, see, that's what I like about here now, that I can see what the heck I'm doing. Now that's cool, I like it a lot. A lot. If you're a PPG painter like me, you're probably freaking out right now. But uh, you'll see that it works. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put pressure up to 27, 27 PSI, and then I'm gonna let the gun do the work. I'm gonna go a little bit farther. Just like that. Okay? Like literally, let the gun do the work. We got full coverage there now, and we blended it out. Because of that wet bed, there will be no sand pile in there whatsoever. And I love that, okay? I'm gonna put another coat on here. Put it on a little bit faster. But because this base coat is activated, once it's dry, it's gonna be dry. So, oh, but I love the light for this. Wow, uh. All right, so that's it. I'm gonna put this to bake, not bake, sorry, but I'm gonna turn those blowers on for nine minutes and then we'll be ready to put our control coat. We'll check it out, okay? Hmm. I think I need a little more, you see it? Maybe you don't see it on the camera, but I'm just gonna put a little more, just to be safe. Another coat on this. Very transparent color. Clearly, I'm gonna dry this real quick and then control to. All right, so second coat was 27 PSI. Third coat, well, fourth coat technically, control coat. Control coat's gonna be a 19 PSI. And check it out. Boom. That's it, that's all I'm doing. For PPG, that's pretty good. <laughs> Put a little more on this. We all know that from factory, it doesn't really match, so. Beautiful. I think we're done here. I think we're done here. Yeah. So, just gonna rinse this. I put it in the gun wash so that I can keep my gun wash clean. My water-based gun wash. This is what I like to do. And that way the gun wash is not all messed up. So we're gonna let this flash for a few minutes and then we'll come back, put some uh, EC520. Okay. 30 PSI, EVO 360. This is Jesse Carbonio, 1.2 with the MP cap. If you buy a 1.2 from my website, motivatedpainters.com, you automatically get the 1.2 MP, MP cap or the 1.3 MP cap. The MP cap, was designed for better automation, so it looks nice, 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 okay? EC520, and what I do is instead of, this is like a three to one to one clear, I do three parts clear, one part hardener, and like a little bit over half of the reducer. So it's not quite one. 
and it gives it a little more body and also the gloss retention is really nice. Now let this flash out for one minute, okay? And I got the temperature and the booth as cold as I can get it right now, which is uh, 73, okay? I highly, 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 highly recommend that you do not spray PPG anyways, uh, above like 80, because the stuff just doesn't work well. Same with BSF um, uh, 100 line. It performs best when it's nice and cool, which is something a little bit overrated, I think, in our industry. Uh, not many, some, but not many talk about how important it is to have the right temperature of the booth. Beautiful. I'm gonna put clear on this and then I'll continue on the whole thing. <laughs> Don't you love it when you're painting and somebody starts smashing on the booth wall? Beauty, there you have it. I'm gonna bake this at 120, 118 for 18 minutes, and then we're good to go.